Hey there, welcome to the latest episode of A Sexy Thyroid Solution. I'm Angela Brown, your host. Today I want to discuss supplements. So I have seen a lot of posts lately about different supplements that people are taking, um, trying out um, without knowing like some of the side effects that they have. So I wanted to talk about a couple of these because there's certain supplements that I see that are, it's not that they're unhealthy, they're healthy, but they might not work for you and they might actually be causing more harm than good. Um, so I really want you to be diligent to know why you're taking it. Um, if someone told you to take it, if your doctor told you to take it and, um, or, you know, if it was more of a thing you saw it on Google, um, and also so that, you know, like the, some symptoms that you could be having could be because of a supplement that you're taking and you just didn't know that. Okay. So one of the big ones is zinc. Zinc I see taken quite a bit lately because it's really good at boosting your immune system. So I get it. It's great to take right now with the threat of the coronavirus. I totally understand that. However, if you take too much zinc, zinc is problematic because it can considerably lower your sodium levels and sodium is needed for your adrenal glands. It's needed for your flight or flight response. So if you're having like some really sluggish symptoms lately, now granted, there could be a lot of things causing that, but that could be one thing that is contributing to some of your sluggishness is because you're not, your sodium levels are completely bottom out and you need that for adrenal function. Another one um, is vitamin D. Vitamin D also is being touted to help boost your immune system. Unfortunately, vitamin D is notorious for lowering your potassium levels and raising your calcium levels. What do those things do? Well, potassium is needed to convert your inactive T4 thyroid hormone to active T3 thyroid hormone. So it's a really direct way to slow your thyroid and your metabolism down um, by taking vitamin D because it will literally lower your potassium levels. And then what does calcium do? Calcium goes up. Calcium also, when it gets high, it does the exact same thing. It slows your thyroid function down. So I'm not a big fan of vitamin D supplementation just for that reason. Um, and then copper is another one. Copper I see is put in I'll add it in a lot of like multivitamins, a lot of other supplements. So be very careful with copper because copper can deplete your potassium levels. And I just talked about what potassium is for. It's for keeping your thyroid function at an optimal level. It assists with that in other words. So that's one thing I would be very careful with, with copper. And then the other part that copper does is it will initially raise your potassium. I'm sorry, your sodium levels initially. And then all of a sudden it will start to deplete it as it goes on too long and then your, the calcium will start to go into your soft tissue, which means symptoms like uh, pains and aches and things like that all over that you just don't really know what it's coming from. Um, so that's one, one thing that copper can do. So be careful with that. The other thing that copper does is it enhances the effects of estrogen. So if you have noticed that you're like super hormonal lately um, and you started taking a supplement that has a ton of copper in it, that's probably why. Um, and then another supplement that I would be very cautious with, um, is desiccated liver. Desiccated liver is a great supplement. I know like a lot of bodybuilders and stuff take it, um, because of the protein in it. Unfortunately, it has a ton of copper in it. So be very cautious with that. That's another one that I see kind of taken too much. Um, and then, you know, you know they, they have some hormone issues and that's because it is literally enhancing the effects of estrogen. And then as far as fish oil goes, I'm a big fan of omegas. Omega threes are like my go-to. A lot of people take cod liver oil, which is okay, but it has a quite a bit of vitamin D in it. And like I just talked about vitamin D levels, um, they're really bad when vitamin D levels get up too high, they'll lower your potassium, um, and, uh, raise your calcium, which will, again, it just depletes your metabolism and your thyroid gland. So those are just some of the ones that I wanted to talk about. Um, again, be very diligent. If you're taking something, know why you're taking it, know what can happen if you're taking it. Um, some of the side effects, um, if you want more inform information on this, um, if you're curious about some other supplements, you know, just give me a shout out. Let me know. Um, you know, I do have a free guide still, um, on causes of hypothyroidism. Again, you don't have to have hypothyroidism to, be diagnosed with hypothyroidism to have a sluggish thyroid. So this also has some tips on there that can help kind of boost your metabolism along. So you can click on my link for that. I have a link for that. Um, and then obviously all my other YouTube videos as well. 
are linked there too. So again, let me know if you have questions. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing day and we'll chat soon. Bye. Thank you.